we are solving one problem on greedy algorithm that is the job sequencing with deadline. So, this is the problem we are having 9 tasks are there T1 to T9 the execution of each task requires one unit of time as usual in case of greedy algorithm job sequencing with deadline we always take that each task will take one unit of time to get completed. We can execute one task at a time all the tasks are exclusive with one unit duration ok profit and deadlines are listed below. So, T1 to T9 they have got listed respective profit values and the deadlines are given are all tasks completed in the schedule that gives maximum profit. So, 4 options are there they are asking whether any task will remain unfitted or all tasks will get completed that is a link question. So, it is having the second part what is the maximum profit earned. So, that means I shall have to go for the scheduling for this uh, tasks 9 tasks ok. Now, at first what I shall have to do I shall have to sequence them in the descending order according to the profit values. So, let me do it. So, at first T3 will come with the profit 30 then after that T9 will come with the 25 then after that T7 will come 23 T2 will come 20 T4 will come 18 T5 will come 18 T8 will come that is my 16 T1 will come that is 15 and T6 will come that is my 10. So, according to the profit decreasing order I have listed my tasks accordingly I shall have to allocate them to the respective slot. So, here the maximum deadline is 7. So, it is clear that 7 tasks can get completed maximum. So, I am writing I am drawing the slots now. So, I am having all the 7 slots now ok. Now, we shall go for the task allocation. So, at first I am going for T3, T3 should be the having the deadline 5. So, in the 5th I shall be pressing T3, then T9, T9 is deadline is 3, then T7, T7 is having the deadline 2, then T2, T2 is having the deadline 2. So, it can come forward it can be done earlier. So, I am allocating it to the slot number 1. So, now I am going for T4, T4 should be allocated to slot number 3, but here you see there is no slot is uh, vacant for T4. So, T4 cannot be fitted ok. Now, we are going for T5. So, T5 means uh, slot number 4 yes T5 can be allocated. Then going for T8, T8 is 7. So, T8 can be allocated. Now, going for T1, T1 is 7. So, this slot is there free for T1. What about T6? Obviously, T6 will cannot get allocated because there is no free slots. So, which tasks are not going to get allocated? T4, T6. Are you getting any option here like? Yes, I am getting option here like your T4 and T6 are left out. So, I shall be ticking, I shall put tick on this D option. Now, the next question is that what is the maximum profit earned? So, maximum profit means I should go on adding these profits excluding this T4 and T6. So, if you go on adding it will be coming as 147. If you do the calculation you will be getting 147. So, 147 will be the answer. In this way job sequencing with deadline this sort of problems can easily be solved. Do the rough work very quickly and get it solved in this way ok. Now, see one thing is there. Here T4, I got that T4 is cannot be allocated. I got this one T4 cannot be allocated. So, now from here I can easily put a tick here because other options are not matching. But as I am supposed to calculate this maximum profit, so I had to carry out up to the last. So, always try to save your time while solving such problems. Thanks for watching this video.